Hello students, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to discuss to you the parts of the measures of relative position. So and that is the percentile, the quartile, and the decile. So without a further ado, let's get started. So first, we will define what is a percentile. So meron na akong video na ginawa doon sa percentile. But i-discuss pa rin natin kasi part siya ng measures of relative position. So pag sinabi yung percentile, i-divide mo lang siya sa 100. So that is what we call the percentile. Another one is, for example, um, the 25 percentile means that you are lower than the 25% of the population. So again, 25 percentile means that you are lower than 25% of the population. So we have the example of percentile. For example, the 75 percentile SAT score for an incoming freshman is 14,000. Okay, so pag sinabing 75 percentile, it means na yung 75 percent of students scored 14,000 or below. And then yung pulang niya, that is 25 percent, it means to see naman yung 25 percent of students scored above the 14,000. So we have another example of percentile. So we have the 70th percentile is a data point where 70% of the entire data is less than or equal to that data point. So it also means that 30% of the data is greater than or equal to the data point. So we have the graph para mas lalo maintindan nyo. Yung 70th percentile, it means to say yung 70% ay yung below niya or less than doon sa 70%. And then, yung kulang naman niya is what we call the 30% and that is yung score naman niya pataas. And that is all about the percentile. So now, let's proceed to quartile. So pag sinabing quartile, i-divide mo lang yan sa apat. So that is quartile, quartz, that is equal to 4. So ibig sabihin, you will divide the set of scores into 4. So we have the first quartile, second quartile, and then we have the third quartile. So the first quartile is equivalent to 25th percentile. So pakitandaan, yung first quartile is, is 25th percentile. Yung, yung second quartile naman is 50th percentile, while the third quartile naman is yung 75th percentile. So pakitandaan, ilan yung first quartile? That is very good, 25th percentile. Paano naman kapag 50th percentile? That is equivalent to second quartile. And then, third quartile ay? Yes, very good. That is 75th percentile. So, ganun lang siya. So, ngayon, proceed tayo sa decile. So, pag sinabi yung decile naman, i-divide nyo siya sa 10. Okay? So, you will divide the set of scores into 10. So, first decile is equivalent to 10th percentile. And then, the second decile is equivalent to 28th percentile, then the third decile is equivalent to 38th percentile, and so on and so forth. So, ganun na siya. I-divide mo lang siya sa 10. That is what we call the decile. So, meron tayong ditong number line para mas lalo ninyo maintindihan yung concept ng quartile, percentile, tsaka decile. So, ulitin natin yung quartile, dinidivide siya sa 4, and then yung percentile naman, i-divide mo siya sa 100. Then yung decile naman, i-divide mo siya sa 10. So, mayroon tayong ditong number line na inihati siya sa apat. So, we have the Q1, the Q2, and the Q3. Now, ang Q1 is equivalent to 25th percentile. Very good. Yung Q2 naman ay kanina ay equivalent to 50th percentile. While the Q3 is equivalent to 75th percentile. Now, itong number line ay i-divide naman natin sa sampo. So, we have the D1, D2, the P3, D4, and the so on and so forth. So, pag sinabi D1, that is the decile, first decile, the second decile, third decile, and so on and so forth. Now, kanina, yung D1 is equivalent to 10th percentile, then the second decile is equivalent to 28th percentile. So, ganun na siya, and so on and so forth. So, napapansin nyo, yung second quartile, or the Q2, and the fifth decile, or the D5, and the 50th percentile ay magkapareha. So, they are just equal to each other kasi sila yung nasa gitna. Now, question sir, paano kapag meron tayong ganito? Hinahanap natin yung quartile tsaka decile. For example, we have the 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, 13, 15, 16, and 19. So, unang-una, bibilangin mo sila kung ilang lahat. So, dito yung example na ito, binilang natin, that is, ilan sila? It's very good. 
that is 11. So, malamang na kagad yung gitna. So, hanapin mo dito yung gitna and that is the 10. So, 10 is yung Q2 dito. And then, yung gitna naman ng 2 tsaka 10, that is 5. And that is the Q1. And then, yung gitna naman ng 10, 15, tsaka 19 is yung 15. And that is the Q3. Tanong sir, bakit naging Q1 is yung 5? So, bakit ba? So, meron tayong formula para mahanap yung Q1. For example, Ang Q1 is equivalent to 25th percentile. So we have the formula, location uh, LK, yung, uh, L is yung location, this yung K, yung uh, given data. And then K all over sa 100 times N plus 1. So inanap natin is yung 25th percentile. So we have the L25 equals to 25 all over sa 100. And then we have the N plus 1. So ilan na? That is 11. So 11 plus 1, that is 12. Now, so, 12 times 25 and then i-divide mo siya sa 100, that is equivalent to 3. Or, ibig sabihin, nasa third place siya. So, ano yung pangatlo doon sa data set? So, that is the 5. Very good. So, bakit siya naging 5? Kasi yung pangatlo, that is the third. Now, sir, paano naging Q2 yung 10? So, meron din tayong formula. So, susundin mo lang yung formula or yung ginawa natin kanina. So, yung Q2, hanapin mo na yung ilang percentile yung Q2, that is 50th percentile. So, 50 at percentile is subject mo doon sa given formula. So, that is L, 50 equals to 50 all over sa 100. Then, ilang lahat sila? That is 11 plus 1, that is 12. And then, 12 times 50 all over sa 100, that is equals to 6. And that is given to 6 places. So, ano yung pang-anim doon sa data set? So, that is the 10. Very good. Paano sir yung Q3? Paano nakuha? Paano nakuha? Bakit naging 15 yung Q3? So, ganun din naman. Same process, same formula, same nagagawin sa ginawa natin kanina. So, we have the Q3. Ano yung value ng Q3? That is 75 percentile. So, unang-una, hanapin mo muna yung value ng Q3. That is 75 percentile. And then, substitute doon sa given formula. So, we have the L, 75. And then, we have the 75 all over sa 100. Times mo natin sa 12. Like 11 plus 1, that is 12. So, 12 times 75 all over sa 100. So, that is equals to 9. So, or that is equal to 9. So, ano yung pang sham doon sa data set? So, ang pang sham doon sa data set is equals to 15. Very good. So, nuggets na ba? So, ganun lang ang pagkuha ng decile. So, ngayon, it's your turn to find the decile. So, first, hanapin mo muna yung equivalent ng decile and then proceed ka na doon sa formula na binigay ko. So, ganun lang. So, memorize the formula, memorize the process, at malaman nyo na kagad kung paano makuha yung sagot. So, leave a comment below kung ano yung may sasagot na dito sa tanong na ito. So, that's all for it for now. So, I hope you understand my topic. So, feel free to ask questions or clarifications in the comment section. So, that's all for it. Goodbye!